there! In this lesson, we'll be going over some of the fundamental basic tools of using photography in PowerPoint, like how to insert, crop, and resize photos properly, and then I'll talk about how to compress your photos if your file sizes are getting really big and hard to share with your team. So first link first, first things first, let's get a photo onto our slide. I'm talking about mobile apps and how they're crucial to creating a customer journey, so I know I want to use a photo of somebody using a phone. And the way that I like to insert photos into my slides is just by dragging from the folder that I know they're in and dropping them directly onto my slide. It's the quickest and easiest way for me. So I know the photo I want to use and I'm just going to click on it on my folder and drag it onto my slide and it automatically populates on my slide, which is great. What's not great is that it's covering up the message underneath it. And so what we want to do is crop away a portion of this photo, which essentially will hide a part of it and not necessarily delete anything, which is great. I can go back and adjust it if necessary. So with my photo selected, I'll navigate over to the right-hand side of my PowerPoint ribbon with my Format tab selected and click on my Crop tool. And when I do that, these eight black handlebars appear around my photo. And if I hover my mouse over any one of them, it will sort of assume the shape of that crop tool, which means I can click and drag, and I get a preview of what portion of my photo will be hidden and what portion of my slide will be visible underneath it. So I will stop just to give enough breathing room to my text so that my audience can clearly read it and see the separation between the text and my photo. And if I unclick, then I still have an option to adjust where the photo is on my, within that crop. So I don't really wanna focus on this coffee cup here. This might be confusing and distracting for my audience. I want the focus to be on the mobile phone since that's what my content is talking about. So if I click on my photo, I can drag it over and make sure that the phone is now the emphasis of my photo, which makes perfect sense. If I click on the crop tool again or hit escape, then that crop will be set. And now I have a perfect layout that I can repeat in my presentation if I have another message and a photo to go along with it, which is great. So something else I wanna talk about is how to properly resize your photos. If you've ever sat through a presentation that has distorted photography, you know how distracting that can be. Your audience will just want to be fixing the photo as, as opposed to listening to what your message is. And it's great to use full screen photography to break up a content heavy presentation or to interject an inspiring or humorous story. So the photo I have here is one of my puppy, Kiwi, who is so well behaved. <laughs> Just kidding, she sleeps on my pillow every day when I leave my house to go to work. Um, so let me show you the wrong way to resize a photo to be full screen. If I select any one of these side handlebars here on the left or right, top or bottom, even if I'm holding down the shift key, PowerPoint will allow me to stretch out this photo and distort it, which is super distracting and upsetting. <laughs> Of course, if this happens, it's okay. There is actually a tool within PowerPoint to uh, resize your photos back to their original dimensions. So if I have my photo selected and I click on my Format tab, there's this option here that says Reset Picture. If I click on this drop-down arrow here, I can select Reset Picture and Size, and Kiwi, my dog, will snap back to her original proportions, which is exactly what we need. So the right way to resize this photo is to select one of the corner handles here. And I always like to hold down shift just for good measure. But I'll click and drag all the way to the right-hand side of my slide so it's covering up the whole slide. And then I can crop away the top of portion of this photo that I don't need. So I'll click on my crop tool and click on my top crop border here and drag that down to the top of my slide, and then I can adjust Kiwi so she's right in the middle. And I can hit Escape or hit the Crop tool again to set that crop in stone. And I, when I push the Play button, I can see Kiwi taking over my whole slide, which is great, a cute story that I want to share with my audience. I'll hit the Escape key to uh, return to my normal view. And one last thing I want to talk about is how to compress your file. If you're using a lot of full screen photography, you might notice that your file size is really big and it becomes really hard to share with your teammates. 
So before compressing any photos, I would highly recommend saving your presentation as a new version so that you have an old version to refer to with your high-res photography. So I'll go ahead and say file, save as, and I'll just name this um, lesson one compressed. And with any photo selected, I can navigate to my format tab and say compress pictures, and I get a dialog box that comes up. I want to apply it to every photo in my presentation, so I'll deselect the first option. And I do want to delete cropped areas, so I'll leave that selected. I usually like to use either 96 ppi or 150, either one is good. So I'll select that and say OK. It might take a minute. And then I'll save my presentation. When I go to my file um, within my folder structure here, I can see between these two files, the first one is 7.5 megabytes and the second one is only 2.6. So that's more than half the size that I'm reducing, which is huge. So now you have tools to crop, resize your photos properly, and compress your files for ease of sharing. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next lesson.